Really? Really? You're gonna, you're gonna try to, you're gonna, you're gonna. <laughs> he did like 100 damage or like he did like 10 damage to me and i just one shot a hypo rip what's up guys me like here and today we're back in action playing some aisle and uh the sandbox is back there's been a new update apparently there's a new cinematic quality option i can't actually figure out how to do that though it's supposed to be in options i've did dev branch and normal branch uh but i i don't have access to that for some reason so i don't know if it's actually in or if that's something that they're like prepping for or whatever also uh they're doing some mod support as well they're like redoing everything so uh, mod support will be easier which is awesome i'm very excited about mod support now uh sandbox is here all the creatures from the aisle including the hypo are actually available to play uh, except for the hypo apparently doesn't follow the new weight system so pretty much everything kills the hypo almost immediately so i don't know if that's going to get fixed or what uh they said they are uh, doing stuff for progression so hypo probably won't get fixed sandbox is just here with all the features that are currently in progression and hypo obviously isn't in progression right now so yeah that's a thing Anyways, uh, it hasn't been updated with the new way system. So pretty much it's back to the way it was uh, You can actually pick skins and stuff again, which is good. I remember whenever they implemented sandbox uh, as several several months ago Re back in uh, you couldn't actually pick any skins or anything, but now you can so look we can check out all the hypo skins There's only two obviously uh, we can do juvenile rexes we can do juvenile uh, puertas juveniles of and uh, babies of all that kind of stuff or in sub adults and all that kind of stuff so yeah uh, definitely really really cool. We have access to pretty much everything now and they've added some more skins So if you're interested in the skins, you can actually fully check out all the skins now uh, Which is really awesome. I really like that Karno skin by the way that one right there. That's pretty cool um, Anyways, I think what we're gonna do is we are going to hop in as a giga and just maybe mess around I might play as a few other creatures, too I'm not exactly sure we can pretty much play as anything we want now now uh, the hyper doesn't follow the weight system But I don't know how much I knew it did a lot of damage before but I don't know how much damage it does to like other things. Maybe it still does a lot, or maybe since it doesn't do any weight, uh, it doesn't have a weight. It's probably in the bottom food of the chain, so it does like zero damage. I have no idea. Uh, but anyways, uh, let's pick a Giga. I actually want to check out the Giga skins. Okay, so I have a Giga here. Let's go ahead and check out the skins. Ooh, that's a nice one. That is also a nice one. I've seen most of these. This is my favorite. I've had this uh, very few times. And uh, I guess that's it. Let's go ahead and start. See what's going on, man. We have a hypo. Hey, what's up, hypo? Hey, you want to try to? What's up, dude? <laughs> really? Really? You're gonna? You're gonna try? To, you're gonna? You're gonna... <laughs> he did like 100 damage or like he did like 10 damage to me, and I just one shot a hypo. Rip. Oh, that is funny. That is so funny. Anyways, uh, I guess let's just go ahead and start playing. We'll see what happens. Now, Sandbox, uh, before progression was in, Sandbox was kind of the only game mode, obviously. But people kind of like chillaxed and you could do a lot of cool story stuff. That's what I did when I played Sandbox. But since, when they added in Sandbox uh, after progression, it turned into like a kill fest. So I'm assuming it's still going to be a kill fest, uh, but this actually gives us a good opportunity to test the strength and weaknesses of a bunch of dinos. And people will finally learn like the bleeding levels, the damage, all that kind of stuff without having to worry about losing anything. So that's another good reason for Sandbox. And you can kind of test and master the different dinos when in different situations. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna go find some people, I guess, and, uh, we will be right back. Oh, God. So, I made it to trips. Apparently, this is where everyone is at. And, uh, <laughs> look, look at all this destruction and mayhem here, man. Holy crap. Is anyone talking local? I don't know. I guess not. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of destruction and mayhem here at trips, and there's just thousands. It looks like someone poisoned the water, and you know how the fish float up to the top? That's basically, like, what's happened here, except for... Pretty much everything's killed everything, which is kind of ridiculous. This is what you get in sandbox nowadays. Uh, back in the day, it was a lot more peaceful uh, because I guess everyone just got to kill each other all the time. So they just got bored of it eventually. I don't know. This is, there's just thousands of death. What I kind of want to do is I kind of want to become a velo and, and go around killing hypos like everywhere. That would be crazy. Just like a velo one-shotting hypos. I'm, I think velos do one-shot hypos. So I want to kind of do that, actually. But we're going to chill around here. We're going to see what everyone's kind of up to. And uh, I'll be back if anything super exciting happens. Oh, restart in five minutes, apparently. 
I think this is Scoob server. I think this is one of the, the Scooby Sat uh, Shack servers. Uh, because I saw him on here. Let's see, there's Hellboy. Yeah, I saw Scoob's on here earlier, so maybe this is one of his servers, or maybe he's on here, I'm not really sure. Well, yeah, yeah, I think, yeah, because Scoob's is yellow, so I think he, or he was earlier, so I guess he owns the server. Okay, guys, we're back. So this is actually the next day. They have fixed the cinematic quality option. Uh, so that's actually in-game right now. And Sandbox and all that kind of stuff is on the main branch. It's no longer on the development branch. I loaded up development earlier, and there was, like, no servers running at all. So anyways... Uh, oh, that's good. Basically, what I want to do is I just want to do a brief test. As you can see, I have an FPS counter up in the top left. I'm sorry it's small. Uh, it's the Steam Overlay FPS counter. And I basically want to see what the frame differences are and also what the game looks like and what the differences are uh, between epic and also cinematic. So, hopefully at this point, uh, I will be showing the differences between epic and cinematic. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn, uh, turn all of our stuff onto cinematic. And we're going to try to run down through the same little stretch of forest. Now, uh, your FPS is, uh, by the way, I have a 980 Ti. That's my graphics card. I have a 5820K CPU. Uh, we're turning everything up to cinematic. I'm playing in 1080p. As you saw, I had like 50 FPS before. We're going to see what we have with cinematic. It looks like your FPS hasn't changed all that much, actually. Uh, and honestly, uh, just to my eye, I can't really tell a difference that much. Also, I apologize if, I don't know if OBS, I recently changed my settings in OBS so it wouldn't be quite as choppy. Um, so hopefully the frame rate is good in OBS as well because I was using the NVIDIA codec and apparently with high with high demanding games, it causes the footage to slow down. And even if I'm getting 100 FPS in a game, I could also I could be getting it could be writing like 20 FPS into the file, and it looks really really choppy and bad. And that's basically why I switched back to DX Story uh, for art. Anyways, we're running through the forest here again on cinematic quality. The frames are pretty good to be honest. Um, I mean they're 45 45 FPS before I was running about 50. Uh, but you know that's that's max settings. You know what I mean? It, it is only 1080p. It'd be better if uh, we were playing on 1440p or something like that uh, but yeah anyways I hope the footage doesn't look choppy and then hopefully I can give you a good side-by-side -side comparison uh, between the differences and epic and cinematic so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna continue the video I just wanted to briefly look at that I think it's kind of interesting to be honest also one thing I'd like to mention is uh, this server is on a sandbox server so the FPS that I got is not really represent uh, represented uh, honestly I probably should have maybe hosted a solo server and just did it by myself in a, in a private secluded area if you want accurate values uh, but anyways yeah because as you can see right now we're getting like 18 FPS and that's just because of all the freaking bodies that are here sandbox has this inherent problem uh, that the more creatures you kill the worse uh, the server gets and also the worse that your frame rate gets as you can see there is just bodies everywhere and my fps is currently 15 yeah just th this is a bad problem with sandbox just everyone kills each other and just it goes absolutely crazy oh my god i can't even see anything this hurts my eyes right now like seriously i'm getting nauseous just staring at the screen 12 11 fps 11 fps guys that is crazy 10 fps it's just going down man Dude, the further over here that we get, the lower it becomes. Like, what the hell had happened over here? Like, this is horrible. This is, I'm gonna have to play in like 480p just to be able to play this freaking game. Oh my God, just look at the death and destruction. Look at all the bodies over there. Dude, there's just so many bodies everywhere. Yeah, sand guys, if you're excited about Sandbox being back, I, I wouldn't be because <laughs> because I had a, I mean, maybe, maybe when a server first comes up, you can have some fun, but this is what eventually happens in Sandbox. Uh, now that progression is in. Oh my, oh my God, guys, look at this. This is nuts. There's just so many dead bodies. This is what Sandbox is now. This is, this is all that it is. It's just dead bodies. It looks like someone poisoned the fucking planet and like everything. This is an extinction level event right here. This is crazy. Oh my God. And just like, how do people even play in this frame rate? This is ridiculous. I'm sorry. It's making me nauseous just looking at it. Oh my God. This, this frame rate is atrocious. <laughs> This is just out. This is just disgusting, man. And there's just so many dead bodies everywhere. Anyways, guys, I think I just want to do a brief like look at the aisle uh, and the new update here. Uh, we'll do like a full-fledged actual real video here so soon. I just wanted to briefly look at it. Um, 
And then just look at all this fucking destruction and mayhem. This is just nuts. Yeah, I also want to check out cinematic. Honestly, I don't see how cinematic... And cinematic doesn't seem to really change all that much. But maybe, maybe I'm just not a person that's good at seeing the small details like that. Uh, if you guys noticed a big difference, tell me down below. Of course, the quality on the video is going to be much lower than what I'm actually seeing personally in the game itself. Um, so obviously, you can check out cinematic for yourself if you want to see the minute details and exactly how it affects your frame rate. Don't try it on a sandbox server, especially if it's been up for a long time, because you're not going to get ac accurate results anyways. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to smash the like button. I'd really appreciate it. Help me out tremendously. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Dude, just look. Just... It's just crazy, man. It's just crazy.